guys, I hope you're doing well. So I thought I would be able to stick to the updates every two days, um, or every other day or whatever it ended up being. Nope! Life just has gotten busy and honestly, any downtime I've had, I haven't sat there and said, oh, I, I want to make sure that I make a vlog or oh, I want to do this or that. No, I usually watch YouTube videos or take it out. Like I have a book that I'm trying to read and just sometimes it gets spread and sometimes it doesn't and yeah. So just thought I'd be honest and real with you. <laughs> you know, like you can have these plans, but as a mom, as just a busy person in general, it doesn't always work out that way. And um, one thing I've learned from living overseas a lot of times life takes more energy here um, than it might have in the States. You know, like, there's just a lot of things that are planned out and organized and make sense in the States. And then you go to a different country and it's, it's different and maybe not as planned out and just looks different in different ways. And so, yeah, don't um, always have the energy that I wish I had and I uh, don't always have the time I wish I had. And so, anyways. So today, I thought I would talk about, and I don't know, I might have talked about this last year, one of my Christmas pet peeves, or one of the things that I miss about Christmas in the States compared to Christmas here. And, um, yeah, just what that is and what that looks like for me. In the States, um, I enjoy going to people's houses and caroling and bringing them joy. I enjoyed going to nursing homes and singing and sharing and that kind of thing. Like, it was a fun and nice thing to do. You know, you, you never went to expect something you never went to get something you just went to spread joy and love and encouragement and to bring a smile to somebody's face that's all that was to it if you got something in return that was a bonus like but it was never expected and then come halfway around the world and caroling is something totally different. One, it's very rare that the people that come to sing are nice to hear. It's very rare that it's pretty and then it's like, yeah, that brings a smile to my face. Yeah, that puts me in the Christmas mood. Yeah, that's, that's very rare. Half the time they can't even carry a tune. Half the time they're like, Merry Christmas! You know, they're not even like singing. It's just, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas! And it's like, yeah, I've heard that since September. Oh, yeah, and they, they start celebrating um, Christmas here in September, all the Vermont, so September, October, November, December. So by December, sometimes, you know, different things you're a little tired of. And so, anyways, and so a lot of times they don't carry a good tune, um, but that's, that's not the main point that it's annoying. Like, you know, there's people that sing Christmas carols in the States that might not carry the best tune, um, but they're doing it from their heart. Here, the goal is to go out and Christmas carol to get something and the ultimate is to go out and christmas carol and get money for it like it's i guess the thing i would compare it to is trick-or-treating you know you go to trick-or-treat and you go and you're expecting candy or never money but you know you're expecting to go to somebody's house trick-or-treat you know smell my feet, give me something good to eat, like you're expecting something. And here, they don't go trick-or-treating, 
but come late November, especially December, there's carolers. And they go around and they will sing until you either slam the door <laughs> or I'll admit I yelled tonight, go away. Her, we don't want you. No, I, I yelled, go away. And so um, they'll just keep singing, especially if they can like see you in the house. So we do not have air conditioning through the whole entire house. We only have it in the bedrooms. And so if we're in the living room and it's it gets a little cooler at night, and when I say cooler, 70, maybe if we're lucky, 65, if we're very lucky. Um, so, you know, we keep the doors and things open as long as we can to get some of the cooler air in the house. So you don't want to, like, shut up the house. Um, but if a caroler, like, tonight, they could see me in the house... And so they just stood there, kept singing and singing and singing. And so we were told um, our first year here, each missionary has to make their choice of how you're going to deal with these carolers. Are you just going to ignore them? That's really, really hard to do as they keep singing and singing. Are you going to give them money? Um, that one's really frowned upon. You know, are you going to give them vegetables? Whatever. Are, what are you going to give them? And an older missionary said that when she went to go visit the mental hospital or prisons or whatever, she would take peanuts. They're cheap and they have protein and they're, you know, so they're good for people. And a lot of these people had, were malnutrition, malnutrition, malnourished, malnourished, that's the word I'm looking for. And so they needed the nourishment and things. So um, they have these things called happy peanuts and it's small package, like maybe that big. It's not very big. Anyways, you can get them for like, 10, 10 pesos and then there's like 10 packages in that row for so it almost comes out to one peso a pack or whatever which is like the equivalent of two two pennies or something I don't know super cheap and so we decided as a family we were gonna do peanuts because you can get a lot super cheap and um, I like the fact that they're packaged so I can, I don't like carolers. You know, like, I've, I think I've already explained that. Like, so I can go out, open the door, stand on the porch, and like throw the peanuts like you would at a parade over the fence and be like, go away, here you go, and then just walk in the house and be done with it. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's how I deal with it. <laughs> and actually, um, Thomas is a people person. He loves people. He loves to interact. And we're trying to teach him to give as well. And so we bought the peanuts. And we learned our lesson to make sure that we don't give him control over the container with the peanuts. Because he will give them all out. And then we have to buy more. Um, so we give him two or three packets. And then he takes them out to the people. And so... It, it, the people would honestly rather see a cute kid than us and um, it teaches him to serve and give and he probably does it with a better attitude than I do and so yeah that's how we um, deal with carolers it's they, I, I had a friend and I asked this is her first year here she's like so do people like go around caroling just for the sake of caroling, just for the sake of bringing people joy and not expecting anything. It's like, no, I, people get together in their houses here and we'll sing carols and we sing some at church, but, um, for it to be a joyous occasion and not expect anything, no, nope. not really. So yeah, I, I would, I would,
to compare it to to Halloween, just wanting to get something for your actions. And so, I I hope and pray that um, caroling continues to be a blessing in the states, and I hope and pray that one day it is here too. And so, Merry Christmas! Enjoy this season. Remember the reason for the season, and um, that's the fact that Jesus came down to earth as a baby and eventually died for our sins so that we could um, have everlasting life with him. So, have a great day and we'll talk to you next time. God bless.